Hello everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements, looking at some of the cool tools that are available in the program. Now, no doubt, if you've uh, worked with Photoshop Elements at all, you've worked with many of the tools that are on the toolbar here on the left. You've also probably explored many of the menus along the top. You may have worked in Quick View, you may have worked in Expert View. But how much have you actually explored the guided edits? Now, I used to ignore guided edits. I used to think of them as sort of a place for the amateurs to go, for people who didn't know how to actually use the program. That's not really fair, because guided edits can do some pretty amazing things, and they can make it very simple for you to do amazing things. In fact, I'm going to show you three of them under Fun Edits, very quickly working with this little photo of this boy sitting on the beach. So let's do three quick guided edits. Let's start with the painterly guided edit. And that's a cool effect that just is accomplished using a couple of steps. If I select a paintbrush, you notice I have a couple of different paintbrush styles here. They're kind of rough, almost like a Brillo pad. I'm going to select bold strokes. And all I need to do is, as you can see, hover it over the picture. I can make it larger or smaller using the tools there on the toolbar on the right. But I'm just going to scruff across it here. And then I go down a little farther and I can select the color of the canvas on which my painterly picture will appear. I'm going to select white and I'm done. Isn't this cool? It's kind of as if the picture was sort of painted onto the canvas. Now it's only masked, no permanent damage has been done. So if I go back here to paintbrush, I can scruff it up a little more and we can go back here to the canvas and you can see the results. Very, very simple. A cool effect that's accomplished with just a couple of easy steps. Now you can apply effects to it too and make the picture look a little more surreal if you'd like. But I kind of like it just the way it is. Anyway, let's cancel that. We'll try a different guided edit here. Again, we're staying in the fun category. Let's look at old fashioned photo. And here it's very simple. There are presets for creating a picture that looks like a newspaper picture or an urban picture or a vivid picture. They're all kind of black and white pictures. So let's go ahead and choose urban. And you can see that takes away the uh, color and it gives a little bit of graininess to the picture. It got a wonderful silver tone to it here. If you go over to newspaper, you see some of that silver tone disappear and it gets a little more straight black and white with just a little bit of grayscale. But let's stick with urban. We'll go down here to adjust tone. This will adjust sort of the range of black and white a little bit and add texture. Again, these are not major changes, but if we go down here finally to hue and saturation, we can get that nice sepia tone. And now we've created an old fashioned picture. If you ever want to see what the picture looks like, the difference between what you started with and where you are, you can always go up here to the upper left of any guided edit and select before and after. There's our before. There's our after. Really a cool effect accomplished with just a couple of clicks in the guided edit for old fashioned photo. Let's cancel out of that one. We'll try one more. To the same picture, we're going to apply the out of bounds effect. It's always been one of my favorites. It's an early effect. Switches back to after only. And then I'm gonna control zero or command zero to make the picture fill out the whole frame. All we need to do is just decide what we want to frame in the picture. I'm going to create a frame by selecting the button here on the control panel on the right and then resize it. Let's make the little boy's head and his arm outside the picture. And we'll make the picture a little bit longer here to show a little more of the ocean. And now our goal is to have the boy appear as if he's popping out of that photo frame. So our next step after we select our photo frame is clicked to accept it by clicking on the green check mark here. Click on it again. This will be the frame of our finished photo. Let's go down here to the selection tool on the toolbar on the right. And then we're just going to select what we want that is outside that frame to appear. So I want the boy's head to appear. So I'm just dragging over it. I'm going to also select his arm and his back and his hand and voila, we're done. Now I'll click the out of bounds effect and there you go. The picture of the boy is if the boy is kind of three dimensional popping out of the frame of the photo. We can add a gradient background. We can take this picture a little bit further but I think it's really fine the way it is. We'll click next 
And once you click Next, once you've finished applying any effect, you have options of continuing to edit in quick mode or in expert mode, or you can send the picture as is up to Flickr or Twitter. You can interface directly with those social media sites, or you can even send it off to Fujifilm and have a nice print of this picture created. Really cool. We'll click Done. Lots of neat effects, like 60 different guided edits, nearly 60 of them here in Photoshop Elements. They're all worth checking out. Some of them are really, really cool, and they allow you to do fantastic effects with just a couple of clicks here in Photoshop Elements. You want to know more about this program? Uh, check out the many tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. You want to know everything about Photoshop Elements. I hope you'll check out my book, The MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's available on Amazon.com. Hey, I'm Steve. I'm the guy who wrote the book. Hope to see you again real soon.